guys and welcome back to the vlog. My name's Alicia and I'm an amateur bikini competitor. Today is going to be my show day vlog where I'm going to take you through my show day and I'm going to show you all the footage that I recorded during the show and during all the pre-judging and everything and afterwards. Um, I didn't do a very good job at recording because everything happens so fast but I'm going to show you what I got, I'm going to show you my stage and then I'll be back to talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just got to the hotel. I have tanning in about a half an hour. So I'm just gonna go get my stuff in and check out the room. It's super cute. Yeah, the bed is huge. Uh, I have to try to rig my sheets on here somehow because I don't have these giant sheets. So I don't know, we'll see. Hey guys, and happy show day! I'm so excited! So I just did my makeup, I still gotta do my hair because it's in this like animal at the top of my head. But we are looking... I'm so excited. I'm just like, I can't even believe I look this good right now. And I'm super excited and my makeup looks good. I did my makeup myself this time. And I think I did a really good job. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to get on the stage. I can't wait to get my sparkly Angel Competitions bikini on. And I'm so excited to just get on that stage and kill it. <laughs>
and we are eating our Drizzle Cookie Company cookie. All right, guys, and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my show footage, my stage footage, and a little bit of what went on that morning. Um, again, I'm not very good at recording on show day because there is so much going on, um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit really quick about my show day experience. Overall, it was a really, really great experience. It was a great show day. Everything ran really smooth. Um, I did my own makeup this time, which actually came out really good and I was really happy with how it turned out. I did my hair straight as opposed to curling it like I did last time. I felt super confident and comfortable on stage and I did place second and open and third in Masters 35 plus. So my number was 63 this time. I was 65 last time, so I guess maybe the 60s are my lucky number. And I got this awesome medal for third place in Masters. It's actually really, really big and really heavy. It's pretty cool. But then for the open, we got a trophy, a really big, shiny, second place beautiful trophy so overall my show experience was really awesome and it was really hot that day so i was a little bit worried about going from the hotel to the venue in the heat and like getting all my stuff out to my car and messing up my tan because um with the spray tan it's not really like a spray tan like if you were just to go to the salon and get spray tanned it's kind of like a makeup almost so like as soon as it gets wet it's off um, I am still tan. Obviously my skin soaks it up really, really well and I didn't really need too many touch-ups. So my tan held up really well. It did last time too, which was great, especially since in the morning after, like before I did my hair and makeup, I brought my big suitcase out to the car and it was really, really hot. Um, I was lucky that my car was actually parked really close to the side exit to the hotel so I could basically just scoot out of my room, scoot down the hallway, put it in, and then get back inside where it was air conditioned. So um, I only had a couple of bags to take out once I was all done up. And I started my car with the remote and waited for the air conditioner to kick on for a little while before I went out to the car. And I got to the venue a few hours early because I had to check out of the hotel. Um, and I just got over to the venue, found a little place in the hallway where I was out of everyone's way and I could just kind of relax. Um, the only bad thing about the venue was there was no service. So I had no cell phone service unless I went and stood by the front of the door where it was really, really hot. Um, so I had a hard time keeping in contact with my coach right up to the last uh, hour where normally I would be sending her pictures and you know she'd be telling me what to eat and when to eat. I literally couldn't do any of that. So I was very lucky that this was not my first show and I knew what to eat. I knew when to eat it. I knew when to pump up. I knew how to pump up. Um, whereas last time I know we, we talked on the phone a little bit while I was waiting to go on stage and she was telling me everything to do kind of as I did it. So I was very, very happy that wasn't my first show. Otherwise I probably would have been freaking out. I was freaking out a little bit. Um, my boyfriend got there, which was good. And he kind of like, you know, was giving me a pep talk and, um, you know, he, he actually went backstage with me and, um, while I was pumping up and eating my snacks and everything. And he recorded my show footage for me, which was great. Um, and then the air conditioner went down in the venue probably about an hour before I was supposed to go on stage. So it started to get really hot. So we were all worried about messing up our tans, our makeups. For the master's division, I was on stage for 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, it was so hot. Everybody was like dripping. You can see in the video how sweaty my back was getting. I could feel like sweat dripping down my nose. 
because um, the lights were really, really intense. Whereas at the last show, the lights weren't as intense. And even though it was hot out, the air conditioning was great. So my whole stage experience, well, it wasn't 10 minutes long, um, but <laughs> it, it was brutal up there. Like it was absolutely brutal. Um, I really thought somebody was gonna like pass out, but um, yeah, we made it. When we, when we got off, we were all like, what just happened? That was insane. Um, I really, I kind of was just like, do I really have to go up for open? Can I drop out? I don't want to go. Um, but I was like, all right, just suck it up. Just suck it up. You just did 10 minutes. You can do anything. So thankfully <laughs> the open division, we were only up there for four and a half minutes. I think the video is four and a half minutes. Um, but it was really great. Um, I got to hang out with my friend Marissa that I met at the Spirit of America, and I saw a few other people from Spirit of America, Mackenzie. Um, so it was really great to see some familiar faces and have people to chit chat with um, <laughs> and watch me have my mental breakdown backstage while I couldn't get my cell phone to work and I was trying to get in contact with Milena and when I was done and I had my award and we went back out, my boyfriend was waiting for me right out in the hallway to give me a hug and he had a whole cooler full of goodies. He got me donuts and they were delicious. And I had one of my drizzle cookies that I had taken out of the freezer that I was super excited about because last time I had one, oh, it was so good. Chocolate and peanut butter together. So good, my favorite. So I really enjoyed my post-show cookie. We took a lot of pictures. I got to take some pictures with my friends. I got to meet some new friends, which was super exciting. And we are all planning a fitness girls get together um, after something else, uh, which I will talk about in the next video. Anyways, back to show day. <laughs> so yeah, so I got lots of good pictures. And then me and Alan went to a little restaurant that looked like it had some good stuff. And I had a glass of wine, which is great because I haven't had a glass of wine in months. I don't even remember how long, a really long time. And we had some mozzarella sticks, but there was really loud music. And after all the stimulation and exhaustion of show day, I wasn't, I wasn't hearing that. So we, we were about two and a half hours from home. So it was getting kind of late. So we decided that we were just going to go to one of our favorite local places near my house afterwards to actually have dinner. Um, I was full of cookies and donuts and mozzarella sticks. So actually, so I wasn't super hungry, but I did want to have my burger and fries afterwards. So we went to Back 40, which is one of our favorite places. And I got my favorite a bacon blue burger, some French fries, some cheesy tater tarts that we probably shouldn't have got because I ended up with a wicked stomach ache afterwards. I don't know if it was just um, from being tired and overwhelmed or if it was just, you know, obviously I ate a bunch of greasy food that my body's not used to. So yeah, I had a bit of a stomach ache <laughs> later on that night and the next day. So I just kind of took it easy the next day. I checked in on Monday with coach. My weight was up three or four pounds, four pounds. Um, I was 134. The Monday after show day, show day morning, I weighed in, as you saw, at 130 point, I don't remember at this point, 130.4. It was either 130.4 or 130.6, which was my lowest weigh in to date, probably since high school. Um, but it did go up, but then it came right back down this week. And yesterday I actually weighed in at my lowest, only one pound away from my high school weight of 129.6. Um, today we were back up one pound, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because I've had a little bit of a diet break, refeed, um, had some stuff this week that was untracked, not too much. I didn't go ham. I didn't go crazy, but yeah, I did have a couple of things to get some cravings out of the way before we get back into working on what's next. And I will do a whole separate video this week and start a whole new series because something exciting is happening. I have a lot of exciting things happening in my life right now. Um, booking more weddings as a wedding photographer. I take on 12 weddings a year because I want to give my clients my utmost attention so I don't take on too many weddings. Um, I'm starting a new job tomorrow morning 
as a graphic designer, so I'm really excited to get back into the field and get back to putting my degree to use and my talents to use. Also, still studying for the NASM, which is actually, it's right here, so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night tonight. Um, I got some editing done this morning on an engagement session that I did last week, and I got that on the blog, and the gallery is currently uploading to send out to the couple. Um, I went to the pool for a little bit today, which is really nice. Took the dog for a couple of walks, and we're probably going to go for another two walks just so I can get my 10K steps, because right now we're at 5616. So even on my rest days, I still like to get my 10K steps um, and just keep active. And then I'm probably going to do a really good yoga class or a nice long yoga class tonight and just kind of relax for the rest of the night. So show experience, OCB, Hall of Fame was really awesome. I love this trophy. This is the coolest trophy I've ever got. Um, yeah, they, they, they did a really good job with the awards. I mean, this thing is awesome. Alan said he is gonna build me a trophy shelf. Um, and then I got my first medal, so yes. Um, needless to say, I'm very happy. I'm very excited about all the things I have coming up. I'm happy with how I look right now. I'm happy to see how we're gonna look in 15 or so weeks. And I'm super excited to start my new job tomorrow. So that's why I'm probably gonna relax for the rest of the day um, and just study and read about the respiratory system. Hopefully get through this chapter. And one thing, if you are studying for the NASM, there is a YouTube channel that has been helping me a lot. Ah, uh, where'd it go? And I literally just put this channel on, and oh, of course we're gonna get an ad. Um, it's Body Design University, and they go through all, this is what it looks like. He goes through every chapter in the NASM book. So when I do my cardio in the morning, which I'm gonna start doing at 7, 7.30 a.m. Um, before I get to work for nine, um, he goes through every chapter and talks about what's important in it. So what I've been doing is whatever chapter I'm on, I've just been putting that chapter in, on the YouTube, sticking it in my pocket and just listening to it for my 40 minutes of cardio. Um, and I find that I really am retaining it really good. So I'm excited. I'm going to be a personal trainer in hopefully the next few months. Um, I have to check when my test date is and get through this book and pass. Um, yeah, so there's lots of exciting things to come. So if you want to see more fitness and food and healthy recipes and follow me on my journey to what's next, <laughs> I don't want to say it. So but there is something coming next. And basically my challenge to myself right now is I have about 10 weeks to get my ish together and you know, turn things around because I have been very stressed with the job situation. Um, as you've probably seen, if you follow me on Instagram or just listen to me on here, I have been very stressed with my job situations lately but i'm getting my career back in order there are so many good things coming so i just gotta get over this little hump of uncertainty and yeah we have a lot of exciting things coming so if you like bikini bodybuilding and you like fitness and you like workout clothes and healthy recipes and healthy desserts because I make a lot of healthy desserts because I have a sweet tooth and I love chocolate. Then like this video, subscribe to my channel. I am going to be trying to be a lot more active on here lately, especially now that I got my little camera set up and it's currently sitting on a foam roller on my coffee table and works great as a tripod. So I have lots of exciting things coming. I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna go put my feet up, well, take the dog for a walk, put my feet up, relax for a little bit and get ready to start my new job tomorrow. And I will see you guys later this week in the next one. Bye.